Hi, Richard Knutson here, and in this special edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag, I thought I'd walk you through some sample assessments that are available for the topic of installing and deploying Dynamic CRM 4.0. Now, if you aren't familiar with my company, IMG is based in Chicago, and we specialize in consulting and training on SharePoint and Dynamic CRM. Now, if you are somewhat familiar with us, you'll probably know that we're very focused on training and certification for Microsoft Dynamic CRM. And in particular, for the last couple of years, we've run the Dynamic CRM Partner Academy program on behalf of Microsoft for its U.S. partner community. Now, one of the big goals of this program is to get partner employees skilled and certified on Dynamic CRM. And for CRM 4.0, here are the three current certification exams. Now there are some assessments available you can use to practice before you test and what I'll show you next is where they are and walk you through some questions on the assessment that corresponds to this exam here which is exam 30-633 installation and deployment in Dynamics CRM 4.0 and uh, just for reference here is the, the uh, Microsoft Learning um, Preparation Guide for this exam. So here's the exam number MB2633, Installation and Deployment. And if you uh, navigate to learning, dot, uh, you just type learning.microsoft.com and you'll get to this Learning Manager page that you see here. Probably the easiest way to find these assessments is to simply click on the assessments link under the learning resource types that you see here. And there are only 11 available right now, and most are in the Dynamics area. In particular, you'll see three. Here's Dynamics CRM Applications, here's Customizations, and here's Installation and Deployment. I'll click this one, and we'll go through a few of these questions. I'll provide some commentary. And if you've uh, reviewed a couple of the other sessions that I have recorded for the customization and for the applications exams, I'll make the same point here that I did about those assessments, that these are not um, uniformly well-written questions, and they are generally not as hard, not as difficult as the ones that you'll find on the actual certification exams that you'll take at a Prometric Testing Center, but they are um, a very good, in my opinion, a way to at least start your preparation or at least should play a role in, uh, in your preparation for the test. So while they're not perfect, they are actually uh, fairly good and they do get to some of the points that you will see on the assessment, on the certification exam. So let's walk through a few questions. This first one has to do with sample data being used in the test environment and uh, it says that uh, companies been using the sample data and made some changes they no longer like which of the following options would be the best way to restore a new copy of the sample data option one is to uninstall or reinstall the sample data second option here is to run the sample data installation and select the refresh option then restore the database backups prior to installing the sample data um, and then it says, uh, the last one here, changes made to the sample data are permanent. Now, the, uh, the right answer here is going to be this first one. There really is no um, refresh option in the data installation. And if you restore the database backups prior to installing the sample data, this third option here, well, there wasn't any, um, presumably, uh, there was no there, there wasn't any sample data there in that case so that wouldn't get him a fresh copy of the sample data and uh, this is certainly not true so in this case it's going to be to just get rid of the sample data and then just do a fresh reinstall so um, that's probably a little easier than the uh, questions you'll see on the actual certification exam so let's go to uh, question two here and see what question two has in store for us. Okay, so here we have a uh, Active Directory configuration question. So uh, 
The venture work cycle currently has multiple Active Directory forests enabled. And then which of these configurations is supported for the dynamic CRM deployment that we want to get to? So will they need to convert to a multiple dom domain single tree model? Do they have to be on a single domain model? Do they need to convert to a multiple domain, multiple tree model? Or is this current configuration supported? Well, it turns out that this current configuration with multiple Active Directory forests enabled, this actually is a supported configuration. So, in, in fact, all of these domain conf AD configurations are supported. So, in this case, so is the one that they currently have. So, we'll go with this. Okay, here we go. This dynamics, we get a different topic here. So, during the install, we're prompted for the ISO currency code and currency name will be used for financial reporting. So this is the base, this is the organization base currency that we're going to select during the install process. So we select the ISO currency code, then we think about making some changes. So what can we change? There's a couple of things we can change and there's some things that we can't about the currency once we install this organization. Well, the one thing that we can't, we know that no changes can be made. That's not true, okay? And we also know that we cannot change the ISO currency code because that's what identifies the currency. We can change the currency name and interestingly, we can change the base currency symbol. Not clear how many scenarios there are where you'd want to do that. But in this case, those are the two things you can do. And this is characteristic, by the way. There are lots of choices that you make in Dynamics CRM for in the installation and setup and configuration that are irrevocable. That means uh, you know you can't make changes to them after you uh, after you lock those changes in. And this is one of them. So once you change the uh, once you select the base currency for your organization, you can't change the base currency by changing the code. But you can give it a different name and change the symbol. Okay, the CRM server consists of what components? Choose two: application server, email server, web server, and database server. The two things here are the application server and the web server. So the web server is the IIS uh, web server that serves up the pages to users. And the application server's role is essentially to control access to the database and to control security. So those are the two answers that are going to be correct for this one. It's a pretty good one. I've been hired as a dynamic CRM administrator for a venture work cycle, and we expect a lot of heavy network traffic when the implementation is complete. So what's something that we could do that might help performance? Terminal server, application server and web server on individual servers, add a second exchange server, add a second domain controller. Of these, this is definitely the best answer. Terminal server is kind of a distractor there. Exchange server doesn't seem to have much to do with it because the question doesn't have anything to do with email. But this question, this option here, gets at an interesting new feature of dynamic CRM 4.0, which is the role of, uh, this is referred to as server roles. So what we can actually do is break off the application server and the web server, run those on um, individual servers, on separate servers. We could load balance, um, have uh, web front end servers that simply serve up the server pages to, uh, to users, and then have the application server run on a specialized box and I mentioned earlier that the application server's role is to control access to the database and uh, implement security among other things so we can have those two server roles on specialized boxes and uh, expect to get better performance now if you go through the installation process you'll be walking through the installation process and one of the choices you'll see is whether you want to do a typical or custom installation and to install server roles that we refer to here, you'll want to do custom. Jump back to the slide deck for a minute there. If you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to contact me at richardk at imginc.com or visit our website at www.imginc.com. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.